It's that time of year again. My favorite time of year. Ready to go camping? Let's do it. First pumpkin spice of the year. While it's always hard to watch summer come to an end, the breathtaking beauty that follows the summer season in Colorado is like no other. I mean, they don't call us colorful Colorado for nothing. It is fall in the mountains, my favorite time of year. the hat out. Yeah. Chilly. So my last truck camping vlog, you would have saw it was summertime because it was. <laughs> it was August when we were in Steamboat. So now fast forward four weeks and it's fall. <laughs> <laughs> we're at the end of September now. We were on a trip. We went to Washington and Vancouver, British Columbia. So that ate up a lot of our weekends. And then we also took one weekend off because we were so busy from our trip. So we're back camping now and it's good to be back in the mountains. This is where we belong. This is, this is where we should be. And last weekend we got some catch up done on the truck camper, which I will show you later in the vlog. So because yesterday was the very first day of fall, um, everyone is like flocking to the mountains to see all the colors. It was such a beautiful drive here. We are over by Independence Pass, which is between Twin Lakes and Aspen. So we're camped out on a forest road somewhere in the woods. <laughs> <laughs> and we're surrounded by golden aspens, which is what I wanted. <laughs> so it's beautiful. It's like 64 degrees. It's just a beautiful, beautiful evening. There's no wind or anything. So yeah, this is our spot for tonight. And then we're going to kind of just hang out on Independence Pass all weekend. It's going to be one of those nice relaxing weekends, which we're ready for that. So um, yeah, so happy fall to you all. <laughs> getting cold out of here. Okay, so when we were in Washington, we were getting in like all the seafood. And one thing we had a lot of was um, clam chowder because you're on the ocean, so eat the seafood and the chowder, right? And so <laughs> when we came home, we were craving the clam chowder still. So Vince, the chef, made some clam chowder. And so that's what we're eating tonight. So we got clam chowder, some fresh bread, and that's dinner. I can't wait to dive in. This smells so good. Mmm. The chef did very well. <laughs> oh, it's so good. It's so good. So we bought some of these little Russell Stouffer candies and we actually had these last time we were camping and they're actually really good. You all snuggled in? I am. Alright, I'm coming. Oh. <laughs> 
So we've been addicted to the show Alone, and we've been watching like all the seasons, and we decided to get this Samsung tablet so that we can load all the seasons up on the tablet and watch it at night when we're camping. And we got this like attachment thing um, as well so it like can hold and like levitate. <laughs> so this moves and then we can kind of like position how we want. So if you've never seen Alone, highly recommend. It's on Hulu or where? Hulu, yeah. The sun is so warm. Oh, I love the sun in the morning. I have your coffee for you. Oh, thanks. You're welcome. <coughs> this is nice. Warm coffee, warm sun. Mm -hmm. Is it Mm-hmm. Cool. All right. I think we're ready for the day. It is a uh, quarter to ten. We woke up at a little after eight today. The sun rises later, so I can tell we're naturally sleeping later because we get up with the sun, kind of. <laughs> but yeah, so I think we're gonna head out now and go and enjoy the rest of our day. Um, really beautiful fall day here, so taking advantage. So let's go. In Colorado, the display of fall colors normally begin high up in the mountains, and then it kind of works its way down in elevation as the temperature gets colder. So right in front of us is Mount Albert, which is the highest mountain in Colorado. It's like 14,433 or something. And the state's signature golden aspens serve as the main act during fall. So right behind us is Twin Lakes and we're going paddleboarding. So we just bought a paddleboard because we really love kayaking and we still have our kayaks. However, um, we can't figure out a way of how we'd bring those with us in our truck camper so it's kind of difficult. So we're like, well let's get a paddleboard. So today's the first day we're going to use it and it is so calm out there. It's like glass. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. All right, so we got a Paddle North. So this is their Porager XL paddleboard. All right, well, let's see how it goes. We're on our paddleboard. <gasps> Look at this, you guys. It's nice. Is it nice? Yeah. Maybe a, a touch more air in it. Yeah, it's a little. It's fine, but we need to just put a little more air in next time. We're totally fine. We're just gonna cruise along the coast here. Enjoy the views. Beautiful. So I'm all solo here on the paddleboard now. Um, we went in. I went in and dropped fins off. Um, we put some more air in the paddleboard. It needed more air for sure. So I'm paddling by myself. I really enjoy this. This is nice. I thought I was going to be kind of scared of it because I didn't have size and stuff like a kayak. Um, but it's not scary. I'm staying close to shore. However, I would really love to have my two paddle, you know, kayak paddle instead of the one paddle. I feel like it'd be so much easier to paddleboard with two paddles instead of just one and having to go like back and forth. So... Oh, I might just grab my paddles for my kayak for next time. We'll see. And also trying to keep the board straight. You have to paddle on each side pretty consistently. So if any of you are expert paddleboarders, drop me some information and some tips and tricks because, um, I mean, this is like my first official time. I did it in Cozumel once when we were on a vacation, but that was in the ocean. It was pretty wavy. Probably not the great paddleboard conditions, but this is pretty much perfect. So.
Look at my little fisherman. No fish yet, and he just threw it in. Good luck. The water is so clear here. Finch just caught a trout, and I'm really far from him. Oh my god, his first fish! Oh my god, I'm so excited for him. Woohoo! Yeah. <laughs> nice fish, even though I can barely see it. <laughs> Aww, how exciting. His first Colorado fish. So I'm just coming into shore, but <laughs> Vince has my shoes because I took my shoes off when I got on the paddleboard. So I can't even walk over there and see him. So I'm just going to kind of float right here and wait till he finishes up with his trout and he can get my shoes. All right, there it is, you guys. His first little rainbow trout. Wow. The classic truck cap and breakfast we love with some apples on the side. So, Independence Pass breakfast right here. <laughs> so we are just off Independence Pass, hiking to the Lost Man Reservoir. Super short, like 0.5 miles. Fish, fish, fish. Yep. <laughs> Someone's gonna try a little more fishing. Real excited about all the fish. And I don't blame him. <laughs> I gotta get my limit of four. Yeah, he can get four, four <laughs> three to trout. go. So he has three to go. <laughs> Both Vince and I grew up in Minnesota, which is known as the land of 10,000 lakes. And fishing was quite common in both our families. Our dads put a rod in our hand pretty early in life, and some of our fondest childhood memories involve fishing with our parents out on the lake. Oh my gosh. They're guys, pretty small. <laughs> look at this. Oh, they're crazy. Naturally, when Vince and I met back in 2006, we became fishing buddies. We even said it in our wedding vows. That's how serious we took fishing. We made some really fun memories together, and I knew it wouldn't be long until we tested out the Colorado waters and did some fishing. Well, you guys, you just got another one. Like, literally. It's bigger. It's bigger? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> wow! Get him in! <laughs> Oh, wow, that's amazing. Oh, he's taking your, li your line. Get him in. <laughs> yeah. Wow. All right, well, rainbow number three. <laughs> the craziest thing about this is we are the only ones here. There's nobody else here on the reservoir, so this is so cool. <laughs> Ooh. There he is. Did you get him? Oh. Ooh. <laughs> Well, that's four. Well, we got four. If he comes in. In what? How many minutes? Fight, fight, fight. <laughs> wow. wow. Woo. Oh. <laughs> Where'd he go? Oh. Wow. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> He's a wiggler. Yeah, they all are. All right, well, that's trout number two, four. We're limited out. Well, I guess that's a wrap on our day of fishing. <laughs> Literally caught our limit within 20 minutes. Minus one from Twin Lakes this morning. Um, he caught that one earlier, but yeah, crazy. And that's maybe why there's nobody here because they caught their limit in 20 minutes and they're done now. <laughs> so kind of a funny pun intended joke as we're leaving. There's a sign here. We're in frying pan wilderness. <laughs> <laughs> so we were gonna have shrimp stir fry today, but guess what we're having instead? <laughs> we're gonna have fresh caught trout. Look at this, you guys. So we got rainbow trout, steamed broccoli, potatoes, and bread. <laughs> I'm so excited. So we just realized this is our first time ever having rainbow trout. Vince can't remember. Never. Well, yeah, never had it. we mm -hmm. we have no idea if we've ever had actual rainbow trout. So. This is so cool. We just caught this and now we're eating it. So let's let's see what we think here. Take a little bite here. Oh, it's like falling apart. Oh my god. Oh, there's some bones. Yeah. I think. Yeah, maybe bones. not. Oh, maybe it wasn't. I don't know. I guess I'll find out when I eat it. Oh my god. Mmm. That's a really good fish. Oh dang. Well, hon, I think you started something. Rainbow <laughs> trout is really good. Uh oh, it's better oh, walleye, wow. northern, sunfish. I, I think so. Yeah, I've had all those. Wow. But you clean them, and then the, the fillets don't smell like anything. They're yeah, they don't fishy. smell fishy. No, it's totally different. Oh, this is good. <laughs> all right, well, that's our night. We're gonna shower and head to bed after we eat. So we'll see you tomorrow. So 
we woke up to 24 degrees this morning. <laughs> it's a cold morning. We have our hats and mittens on. So we're just doing a quick little hike this morning. I think it's Clinton Dam Reservoir. It's like a loop you can do around the whole reservoir, like 2.4 miles. We got frosty trails. This bitterly cold mountain air gave us quite the wake-up call as it bit our cheeks this morning. We haven't felt this kind of cold for a long time and it was frigid. But I know it's just a sign of what's to come after these beautiful autumn days slowly fade away. All right, well, I think we're going to turn around. Um, so this loops all the way on the other side. The other side's completely forested and then we kind of have to like walk the road to get back to our vehicle and we just don't feel like doing that. <laughs> so we're gonna turn around right here. It's this beautiful little, nice little morning hike. My fingers are really cold. I wasn't prepared for such a cold morning, but it's okay, it felt good to be out here early in the morning watching the sunrise. So right down the road from the Clinton Reservoir we were just hiking by is Mayflower Gulch Trail. So I think we're gonna hike this this morning too. Mayflower Gulch is not only a beautiful hike through some beautiful pines, but once you reach the Mayflower Gulch, after about one and a half miles, you're rewarded with views of the Boston mine ruins from the 1800s with a backdrop of 13,000 foot mountains. You can go inside the cabins, but remember to be careful since the buildings are falling down quite a bit. And please do not participate in the graffiti that others have done. Always be sure to always practice, leave no trace. I just realized I never gave you a tour of the updates we made to the camper. So we're parked right in the same spot where I did my camper tour. The wind was messing up my audio, so I'm going to do a voiceover on parts of this. Our truck camper has roof racks on the top, so we decided to get a Thule storage container for the top. We went to Rack Attack in Fort Collins as they have a wide variety of roof storage options. So this is really nice to store all those things that we don't really use on a daily basis, such as a small air compressor, jumper cables, and kind of things like that. Having this extra storage gives us a lot of extra space in the back of our truck, so we love this addition. So if you watched my camper tour video, um, I mentioned that we did not like that stove because it was really slippery. We found this stove, it's a Dometic stove, and it's cast iron and it's flat. It's so nice, pans and pots and everything don't slip on this. So this was definitely a great upgrade. We did have to cut out the countertop a little, um, like a couple inches, not even, maybe an inch on each side. Um, but that was pretty easy to do. We just used our jigsaw, but we are definitely loving this upgrade. And then the other upgrade we did, bought a Honda generator. Um, I showed that in our last vlog, which can light up our entire camper here. It can also light up all our plugs and whatnot. However, we did a little research and we figured out that we wanted to add an inverter. So in order to do that, um, we added one more extra battery. So down here, there's two batteries. Then we added like a little shelf in here and got this 2000 watt inverter from I think Harbor Freight. And now we have two outlets that we can run directly off those two batteries. And so if we wanna like charge any type of batteries, plug in um, like my hair straightener <laughs> or anything that has an outlet, um, we can do that here. And this allows us not to have to use our generator. Um, we're still happy we bought our generator because it's great to have if we wanted to run the AC or the microwave, because we can't do that. Um, but if we needed an outlet for anything, this inverter works perfect and we can light up basically everything. So yeah, we've ran a coffee pot, we've ran a hair straightener, we've charged batteries, so it's been great. And our batteries have been staying 100% still. <laughs> crazy to us like we've never seen our batteries go down at all because we have solar and when we drive um, the it, the truck like charges our battery system at the same time so yeah we used it like I said on our straightener coffee pot um, and then I charged some of my batteries for my camera and it's still like always a hundred percent because we're like oh I wonder if we're gonna have to get more solar put on but so far, we haven't needed to do that. So um, so that was definitely a good investment and pretty cheap. <laughs> we also upgraded our propane tank. So the camper did come with a 20 gallon propane tank. However, it didn't have a gauge on it showing you like how much was left. 
So that's what we bought it. We bought another 20 gallon tank that includes the gauge. And that's nice to know where we're at. Our fridge runs off of this and our, of course, our stove, our propane heater, all the things. So um, it's really nice to know where we're at with propane. So that was all our updates. This is our first weekend trying them all out to make sure we liked them and they all worked well. Still waiting on those stairs. That's the only thing. I think I feel like we got it really narrowed down and honed in. So if it changes, I'll let you know in my vlog. So stay tuned. And by the way, I will link everything in the description if there's something you saw um that was interest to you um you can definitely check out the links below you guys you got a fish yeah i'm gonna need a net <laughs> <laughs> what is it Frog. nice another rainbow whoa, whoa. Wildly. all right you guys well unless something crazy happens in rocky mountain national park as we make our way back home thank you guys so much for watching we had an awesome awesome weekend first weekend of fall awesome camping, paddleboarding, limited out on fishing, yesterday, not today, <laughs> and some really good hikes. This was pretty much a perfect fall weekend in Colorado. So thanks so much for watching and we'll see you guys in my next vlog. Bye guys.